Busan. Guys, guys. Busan. Boom. Nice. Level eight and a half. That's dope. Nice. Finally. Oh my. This was a beautiful. What is up, guys? And welcome to the Beyond Sanashi and my name is Shanks. In today, we're going to play a 3v3 matchup on the beautiful map Lebanon in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22. And we will get to play the Gondor faction. Okay. Gondor, Mordor, Rohan combination. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, normally I like to go for the Cavalry, for the Gondor Knights, but as we have a Mordor ally, and the Drummer Troll doesn't provide any leadership bonuses to the Cavalry, we can actually go for the Combos and the Rangers. We need the Hobbit Peregrine Tukta, and the Mordor player needs to just make Drummer Trolls. That's all he gotta do. Drummer Trolls early game, and then the Witch King late game. I'm gonna let him know that he needs to make drummer trolls and we can creep this. Okay, I mean, I wanna creep this actually. Please, Rohan, let me creep this. I mean, my allies are not uh, expert players, they are kinda new to the game and I need to coach them a little bit, you know? Okay, so um, I will also ask him to use the Eye of Sauron here on the spot so we can get a bit more experience, you know? The Eye of Sauron, besides giving us damage leadership, also gives us more combat experience, which means our units are going to be able to level up 50% faster. Use it! Use it, Mordor! Use it! Use it! Use it! Come on now, dude! Please? I'm waiting! Stop it! One thousand years later. <laughs> I think he's not paying attention. Please? I don't know. Okay, finally, dude. Finally. Nice. Nice. Okay. You see, that's very important. We get more experience from it. 50% uh, more experience. And this way, we can, out we can get the Gondor soldiers easily to level 3. Remember, when we buy Banner, we can only get them to level 2. So after creeping this, I think one of the soldiers at least would be level 3. We go for Boromir next, and we'll try to get him to level 4 for the damage leadership. So, you know, long story short, in this game we should be able to reach multiplayer numbers beyond your imagination. Okay, you see? That's pretty good. Nice, so level 3, the other one is also almost level 3. Now we can even move on to the war clan at the outpost, and we can send Boromir to the troll creep in the middle of the map. Archer range, and we can also buy heavier arm. Oh my goodness. But they are already here. That's crazy. Hobbit, throw rocks. Kill the Mary first, if you can. And let's creep this. Okay, we killed a couple of units, and also we killed Mary. I mean, of course we did, because Peregrine Took is just a better Hobbit. But we need to disengage now. I want to keep those two soldiers alive, you know, that's very important for me because what I can do now is I can combine them with the Gondor archers and then my combo is going to be automatically level 3. Again, it's very important for you to understand that each level in this game is so meaningful, it's so important. I mean, he stole the troll creep from me, the troll, <laughs> I didn't pay attention. But I will make sure to not lose the lair. Unfortunately, that alone is not going to be enough to get us to level 4. Hold on, hold on, now. Boom. They call, they, they call me the Micro Boromir. But unfortunately, we are not level 4 yet. What we can do is we can eventually creep the Goblin Lair with the Boromir. Around this side. And we have also Faramir very soon on the field. And then we should be good to go. Again... The only reason why we are going for the combos is because of the insane damage and armor leadership we will get later on from the drummer troll of the Mordor ally. And also later on he will get Pitch King on the field. So long story short, we should be extremely strong. Alvin Wood, just for the worst case scenario, we don't have to use it first. The enemy has uh, two Isen uh, one Isengard and two Rohans. Also pretty good combination. Remember, Isengard is able to negate all the leadership bonuses from the Mordor faction. Okay, I think what I want to do now is I want to get the outpost under my control, you know? 
and then kind of protect my Mordor ally. Mordor is like a sport faction, so Mordor can't and shouldn't, you know, I mean, you can, of course, if you try hard, but normally you cannot match against any faction by yourself, as you are a sport faction in this game, in this mode at least, 3v3, and for that reason, he needs our assistance. Let's get some ranges on the field. Boromir level 4 for more damage leadership. And Faramir is going to be easily leveling up anyway. Because Faramir, we will put him next to the combos. And the combos going to kill stuff. And Faramir is going to automatically, passively level up. I mean, they bought the outpost, but I think we should be able to take it down immediately. But hopefully, with the Eye of Sauron, we should be in a better spot. Okay, nice. So he's, he has Eye of Sauron. So we have Poro Leadership. We have also the Horn of Gondor, you know, to stun them. Because I believe they have no Fear Resistant. I see Legolas in Lourdes. But I don't think they have levels on them. And our units, they should be strong enough to take them down. And, you know, <laughs> our Hobbit is the highest level hero. Almost level 7. Peregrine took. And we will go for Gana very, very soon. Level 7, that's dope. Let's kill the outpost. We can capture it right after. Yeah, I want the outpost. Yes, I want the outpost. Oh no, I meant the outpost, dude. <laughs> the miscommunication, dude. I meant the outpost, my friend. And not the eye. Uh... I mean, I didn't think that you would ask me about I because the fight is already over. <laughs> it's okay. It's not the end of the world. We can now place the ranger inside the outpost for some protection and we can also move on now to the other outpost. You know, in this game, we need to make sure to rotate. I would ideally have like two armies, one at the left and one at the right side, so I can push simultaneously, you know, from both the sides. But we should be in a good spot. We need a drummer troll with us. That's very important. Without a drummer troll, our combos are not very strong. Uh oh. I mean, hey, hey, we're gonna burst you down. Horse Lord of Rohan. Take this warning arrow on your face, son. Spear drove him! Spear drove him! Spear, 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 spear! spear. Nice. That's called the teamwork synergy, boys. That's what I like to see. But I think they're gonna come now to my outpost, so I need to eventually go back now. I don't want to lose the outpost because I believe the one ranger inside the outpost is not gonna be enough to protect us. But it's okay. I mean, our army is pretty strong. So we have definitely more leadership, 100% at the outpost because we have also the statue, you know, giving us more damage, more armor, more combat experience. We have Boromir leadership and Drama Troll leadership, so we should be in a good spot. He's outnumbering us, but again, quality beats quantity most of the time. He has also Aragorn on the field, but where is Theodin? He needs Theodin with the... Oh, nice! Faramir has shown his quality. Let's fight around the well. I'm gonna use heal and pop off now. Just fight them. Fight them all day, all night. I mean, I can uh, stun them, I believe. I don't think Gimli is level 2 yet. We will find out. Okay, Gimli is level 2. That's why they don't get stunned. He has the stubborn pride for fear resistant. But you see, at the outpost, as long as they don't kill the well, they are able to heal up all the time. We have also now the pillage. Kill Theodin! Yeah, boy! We have also Gandalf on the field. Lords! Yeah, boy! <laughs> and, you know... I, I, quick tip from my side, when you fight against an opponent around the outpost from him, make sure to kill the well in the statue first, especially the well. Like, I, I get it because the statue is behind, it's hard for him to reach, but the well should be your first target, because if you don't kill the well, your opponent will be able to recover while he's fighting you. Boom, son. Okay, level 6, that's dope. If also 2 power points in the bank after the Gan of the White, the Alvin Wood, and the Heal, I might need to spot my ally around the outpost, and I think, um, okay, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if the Rohan can commit on us. Like, we have now higher leveled combos, one of them is being level 6, we have Farami and Boromir leadership, as well as the Dramatrol leadership. 
but I would put some of the units inside the tower. Oh 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 oh! Hold on a second. I can fight this, I believe. I cannot can pop off. Oh oh! Guys, 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 guys! Boom, son! Let's go! That's what I do. That's what I do. You see that? You see that? Gandalf the White is shining bright like a diamond. I mean, the problem is you don't want to write into the Gandalf. You want to try to dodge, you know? My ally also needs a drama troll around the outpost. So if you don't know, the drama troll around the outpost can also buff the units inside the citadel. So they also get the buff from the, the, from the statue. So this all alone is going to be like 80% more damage, 80% more armor. Even though armor doesn't mean anything since they are not targetable. You need to destroy the citadel first. What, are, what is he doing? Are you out of your mind, dude? <laughs> dude, Gandalf. Gandalf is the... I love Gandalf, dude. I love Gandalf so much. He's so, he's so strong. Look, the power points are rising to the sky, dude. Level 9 Faramir 2. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, now that's where the fun begins. We have also the Witch King on the field. Look, our units, they are pretty much immortals. They are so tanky now at this point of the game. I mean, once again, there is a magical solution to all these problems of the enemy team, and this is going to be the Freezing Rain. So in order to shut down our leaderships, we need to click on the one button. And then the leadership or the existence of the Mortal Faction is completely negated. I like the teamwork synergy here. The Rohan player went for the for the Rohirrim, we went for the combos and rangers and you know infantry heroes like Farami and Poramir, and the Moro ally is going for the sportive action. That's a very good team synergy right there. Um, I want to heal up a little bit before we're gonna move on. We have also Cloud Break available from the spellbook, no problem. We have the Four Gondor ability available too, for even more insane leadership bonuses. We have a level 8 ranger battalion too. We have two rangers. I want to also move from the bottom side. So I want to finish off two of them at the same time and kind of force them to into a split. You know? That's the one thing you can do. Because in order to beat this army around this outpost, they need to kind of get together, all three of them. And we can use this moment to attack him from the other side as well, you know? There is Saruman in Lourdes. Oh, be careful! Gandalf, 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 Gandalf! Don't, 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 don't! Don't cripple him! Don't cripple him! Don't cripple him! Hello darkness, my old friend. The Lords got taken down. But I've heal. I've heal. Maybe I can I can do that. I have also Cloud Break available. Boom. Nice. Level 8.5. That's dope. I mean he's fully committed on the Gandalf, but we have the shield bubble. I have the Cloud Break too. I will have to heal him. Can I get away, please? How long the duration of the cripple last for, man? Come on, Gandalf, move, please. Nice, finally. Oh my, this was a beautiful fireball, by the way. Holy quackamole. What the heck was that? He stole some of the horses, too. Our Gandalf can be sent back to the well. He did a phenomenal job. He's almost level 9. And now it's the time to move from this location, too, boys. Because as you can see, they are gathered in one place. You know, they need all the army to defend against our army and the ally, Rohan. Because he has also glorious charge for the insane boost of damage and armor for the, for the Rohirrim. And the outpost is quite helpful because we can, you know, always get back to the outpost if we need to. Okay, now it's time to move on. We want to move at the same time pretty much. I'm waiting for the drama troll of my ally. The ranges are very squishy units. So we want to have at least some sort of leadership for them to make them a bit more tanky. We can get them out too. And send them through the middle. To this location. Okay. So um, that's going to be the fight of the of the century. That's going to be the fun fight. To decide the outcome of the game. But I'm telling you guys. Our units are so incredibly strong. <laughs> Look at this damage output dude. That's unbelievable. Level 10 Faramir. Also something you don't see every day. But that's only possible. Because of the insane combat experience bonuses we get. From Gandalf. And also the Drummer Troll. Please keep in mind that the combat experience in the patch 2.2 is already nerfed, you know? <laughs> so imagine if this was before. Take this. Level 9 Gandalf, that's what you love to see. There are so many Rohirrim on the field though. Like so many. 
But trust me, we are so tanky at this point around this area. We are clumped, so they cannot go for a tramp. Oh, Gimli. I don't know what's going on. I think it's a massacre. I see lots of units in one single location. They are clumped up into a big chunk of our army. Almost level 10. Oh, nice. The war of power moment, boys. But I'm telling you, I've been actually lucky with the random picks lately. I've been getting actually quite a lot of Gondor, which was which used to be my favorite faction back in the day. Hold on a second. The Isengard players wrote... I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> Just bragging about it. I'm gonna actually use it against the Isengard combos. Yeah, yeah. Let's go there. Oh, oh. guys. Be ready for it. I'm going fam. Oh my goodness. Saruman actually kind of wiping out my army. I'm not gonna use EOD there. Trust me. I don't want to miss the satisfaction of the... Of this. Boom, son. Dude, you love to see Gandalf level 10. You're gonna call it boys, and that's the power of Gandalf. That's the power of Gondor, of course, with the model combination together. And just prove who's the better wizard by one-shotting the Saruman. Crippled me, but I have the shield bubble. Oh, he's actually chunking my... What? Okay. Luckily, I had heal, <laughs> you know? It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Nice, so that's good. Matthias has been defeated. We are moving now to the Isengard, and then the only the Rohan player will be left. And there was a EOD. Keep in mind... So, everything is going pretty much perfect for us. Biscuit has been defeated too. And now the only, you know, Gondor against Rohan now. But I'm actually quite surprised by the performance of my teammates. They actually played a very decent game too, you know what I'm saying? The Rohan player was pressuring a lot with the Rohirrim. It has, has gotten the glorious charge. You know, my Mordor ally did what he's supposed to do. He was providing me leadership with the Witch King. And also drama trolls, making sure that I always have leadership. That's the most important part. And again, you can also use the shortcuts. So if you play Mordor in a 3v3 situation in order to support your allies' combos or arches all the time, you can just select a drama troll of yours, press U on your keyboard, and right-click on the archer you want him to follow. The drama troll will start following the unit wherever he goes, so you don't need to manually micro in anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty good for lazy people like me. We are too strong at this point, man. We are just too strong. What can men do against such a reckless heat? Besides getting wrecked. I'm gonna blast you, Elma. <laughs> Dude. Take into the blast. He just stands up, getting on his horse, just to get, you know, sent back to the graveyard. Not back, because he was not dead before. But he's dead now, you know? Now Rohan needs another new king. <laughs> Alright. Rohan is falling into pieces and the White City Gondor will prevail. You know, will remain strong. Dude, you love to see it. Even Peregrine took was level 7. All the Rohan hero, all the Gondor heroes, we have all the power points unlocked beside the Eagles. But we don't have to use them. Because we don't need them. And Gondor is strong enough to win the game without power points. In order to make the games more challenging, I'm always trying to win them without the power points. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the victory in this 3v3 situation. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a truck and as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay beyond standards. Peace out.